Hi, it's Mike, Family Dollar TV, and today we're painting a two-story foyer. Let's do it. So whenever I have a large painting job to do, like something like this, like a full foyer or a large wall, or maybe like four rooms that are all gonna be the same color, I bring out my Wagner Sidekick. This is kind of the motor, right? This sucks up the paint here, and it supplies the paint through this line. So you hit the button, the paint travels up, comes out this hose here, and there's all these little holes. The paint actually drips out. Of now, to make this whole thing work, you need a special roller. It's actually perforated inside. I'm not sure if you can see that. So this is actually a special Wagner roller you have to buy. So the way that this kind of goes together is you have this little sleeve that goes on there, and then you have this piece here that clips on the end. You gotta be very careful not to break this. All right, now that's your roller put together. And now this little lip here clips on here. So there you go. Now that's the roller. All right, so very cool, very cool. So let's go hook this up to the actual paint. So now we take the sidekick and we mount it on the side of the bucket. And this is expandable from a gallon to five. So you can see we hook it over the top and it goes on the bottom. Now I, I am, as you notice, on the second floor. So I'm actually gonna be painting off of the second floor here. This is kind of like the snorkel. This is what sucks up the paint. Actually, it sucks up the paint on this side. And we're just gonna shove this in here. That is our setup here. Okay, so you can see that's in there. That's gonna suck up the paint when we hit the button. All right, so now I am at the bottom. Like I said, this thing is great. The hose runs, it's really long. So now I'm gonna come up with a plan of attack on this wall, okay? Basically the way my wall is laid out, um, I'm gonna do it in two climbs up the ladder. Okay, so I put the ladder on that side, I'm gonna paint this side, and then I'm gonna move this over to this side, I'm gonna paint this side and that work my way that way. All right, so the idea here is to avoid trips up and down the ladder as much as possible. Before I jump up on that ladder, I always keep a damp towel in my back pocket. So if I'm painting and I hit anything I don't want, I can use this to wipe it up. Now we got our first coat done. Now we're actually gonna do our edging. So what I did was I got as close as I could with the roller on the first coat. And now I'm gonna come back and do all my edging. So I am on an extension ladder now. I have a bucket attached here. This is kind of just for my extra tools. Do all my edging. And then when I do my second coat, I'll cover any mark that I possibly made with the ladder. All right, so it's painted. We're looking good. We kind of put some decorations up. All right, now let's go clean this thing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the footage when I actually cleaned it because it's super dark outside. Footage would look, would look terrible, but I can walk you through it. Basically what I do is I pull this, the line that sucks in all the paint. I pull this out of the paint. I pull this, I put this in a bucket of soapy water, okay? Then I put this up in the air. I then pull this off. This is the part that has the actual roller on it. Again, I take the roller off the assembly, I put that in a bucket of soapy water. What you can do actually to clean this is very simple. You just get a hose, you put the hose right on the end and it'll actually, you can actually clean out the whole inside internals of this pretty quickly. Okay, so now this is clean, again, in a bucket of soapy water. Then what you wanna do is you wanna remove all the paint that's obviously in the system, okay? So you can do one of two things. You can either throw all the paint that's in the system out, so you just would run this into the trash, or you can dump it back into your paint bale, okay? Once you get all the paint out of here, then what I do is I then hook this up into a bucket of warm soapy water, okay? So imagine this is a bucket of warm soapy water, all right? I put this out into the grass and I just turn it on and I let it run through about a gallon or two of water. I just leave it there and I walk away. I come back in about, you know, five, 10 minutes. And normally what I see is this whole, all these lines are clean and it basically cleans itself. Then what I do is I dump out the soap water. I put clean cold water in it and I let that run through like about a gallon just to clean out the system until I make sure that I get clean water coming out of here. Then what I do is I pull this out of the water and I run it until it's dry. Okay, until no water's coming out of here, so there's no water in the system. Then what I do is I take my entire system and I put it in its dedicated bucket, and this goes away for another day. 
So now if you want to pick up one of these, I'll put a link down below. I think you can get this on Amazon. If you can't get it on Amazon, I'll put the link of where you can get that. Please check out my website, www.familydiytv.com. Also, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And I'm Mike. Give me a like and I'm out.